short and stoned, but if you're new here, you can call me Kelly. I'm a Canna advocate, medical patient, and solventless foods entrepreneur. On today's episode, we are going to be unboxing a Puffco Peak Pro limited edition in the color Flourish. Join me as I dive into the Puffco Pro unboxing of this limited edition color and see if it lives up to the hype. Did you know since starting in 2013, Puffco has acquired at least 16 patents? It just goes to show that they are dedicated to changing the hash consumption game. But with some controversy being they're now manufactured in China instead of LA, does it affect the performance and quality at all? But alas, the Puffco Peak Pro is here in limited edition special colors. The Flourish Green dropped last spring of 2023 and quickly sold out. So when I saw this passing by at a shop in Oregon, I knew I had to grab it as it matched my new engagement ring. Some key features I'd love to highlight first and foremost that sets the Peak Pro apart from their first peak. We'll start off with a battery life. It charges with a USB-C, maximum two hours, and will last 30 to 40 sessions. Customization is also a game changer in this. You can download a special app that allows you to control draw time, colors, standby mode, heat temperatures, battery charging capabilities, a reminder to clean, and more. The Peak Pro also boasts a new 3D chamber that can really stand up to the test of time and daily consumers. Next, we're moving on to real-time temperature control, and this is a game changer. It will adjust its temperature depending on the draw and concentrate amount. The Peak Pro also has the compatibility to hook up to a wireless charging dock, and you can set it on the app that it'll start heating up when you lift it off the base. I did not go for that quite yet, but it is something to keep in mind. Next is the upgraded glass here. Let me show you. If you can see, this cone has ridges on the inside. Now these were specifically designed by the Puff Co. Vapor R&D team. They work splendid for dry rips as it cools your vapor as it makes its way up. If you weren't aware, this thing has the most hype out of any electronic consumption device on the market. They really hit the mark for elegance, high end, and high quality. However, with something this hyped up that really drives home quality and precision comes at a price tag. At 420 bucks, that can be a little daunting to people. I'm a medical patient, so dropping that on something that will help relieve my pain, that I can truly customize for my medical needs depending what arises, I didn't bat an eye. But I know other people, 420 bucks is a lot of money for a product. Just to be transparent, I've been using this for one week. So after one week of consumption, my biggest con, my biggest negative is, listen, I love the app. I think it's so cool, this is my favorite rig ever. But it's so freaking annoying that you have to like connect it to the app every time, hold it in. And even sometimes I'm not even turning off my phone. I'm not even turning off the rig and it still has to reconnect and do its thing. Let's get into the meat and the potatoes of the unboxing itself. The image itself has a nice sheen to it. On the side, you'll clearly see all of the key features. 3D chamber, real-time temp control, larger capacity chamber. The joystick now comes stock, forgot to mention, since the chamber only heats around the outsides and not the floor, having a joystick to control the airflow and direct it so that the product splashes onto the sides where the heat is, is key. So, joystick is a must. It has customizable LED lights. It can connect to a Puffco app and wireless charging is available. It does not come in the box. You have all of the contents explained. For the price point, I better expect it comes with a freaking carrying case. Here you have a lovely hard styrofoam case. It's got some hard plastic details. If you wanted to clip this to a bag with a carabiner, I so would. Honestly, I need to go find one to do that. Okay. Open that up. 
Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. I just put this in here just for this video. Please do not store and transport water in your e-rigs. That's a recipe for disaster. And then at the bottom, there's a QR code you scan to set up on board your rig to your smartphone. It has some hard plastic trapdoor compartments, which I love. So put extra Q-tips in there. Put your charging cords in there. The nice metal tool for filling comes in the other side. So once you scan that QR code, you download the app. It will give you a lovely onboarding video, which I will play for you here. I just thought this was quite the added experience. Puffco really went above and beyond with little details like this. But I would like to add disclaimer about the app. It's not an actual app being that it is for plant consumption. The app store obviously won't allow for that. So it's under a back door called Path Browser. You download that kind of mock web browser to your home screen. And then from there you save it under like the Puffco URL. It is a little annoying. There's quite a few things to click and download. It's not a, just a go into your app store and download it quite deal. But once you have it there, you really have unlimited capability of what you're able to set your rig up with. There's different colorways and modes, temperatures, draws lengths, everything you can imagine can be done in the app. I will show you here as well my temperatures and colors, draw length. You can also adjust vapor production from standard, high, and max. I absolutely love this feature. So yeah, you'll see I have a lot of different temperatures. I really just range from five degree differences starting at 480 to 555. Those are the temps I'm rocking with when consuming hash and rosin. But hey, let me know in the comments, if you have a Puffco Pro yourself or you're thinking of getting one, what's your go-to temperature and draw time? I think it truly lives up to the hype. I've definitely changed my mind and my opinion regarding the rig and company as a whole. But enough's enough, let's take some rip. Let's taste those terps. All right, what everyone's come to see, I'll show you what it's like. All right, let's go to Go Bananas. Ooh. Let's go in on some DMs this morning. Going in on some GG. Start screen recording again so you can see what I'm looking at from my app. The Go Banana. I love this because I think it's so cool. I'm a numbers girl. Seeing it heat up in live time. I love seeing the variation of when you hit it. Cheers, guys. Man, I love consuming out of this. As a disabled gal who spent my money on this, I can say it is well worth it. From a medical standpoint, it is optimal for managing relief. But recreational wise, it, this is the ultimate party trick to pull out to get everyone enjoying together and on over living in the 21st century as a half smoker. I think it's freaking worth it. It so is. I understand the hype. This has changed my life. I'm so glad I have it now. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the rig. Do you have one? Are you thinking of getting one? What's your temperature setting? Share your colorway links. To be transparent, I didn't set a bunch of those color settings. I did go on Reddit and find colorway links. So maybe if you share some in the comments, I might share some back with you. This is amazing. Oh my God, I wanna take another rip before I do my outro. I'm staring at her. She's doing her little color dance. She's like a little, she's like a little peacock doing a little show for me over here. Look, I turned her 
vibrancy down so she's not as bright so I don't kill her battery but she's just asking to be loved over there we're gonna run it on rainbow road this was one of the pre set heat settings called disco but baby our I like rainbow road Ooh, ah. one last one before I do a lay outro I just can't recommend this enough if you're on the fence about the Pro, get it. If you're curious about the new Peak that is $200 less, check out my other videos. Cheers. Also, all the detail on this rig is crazy. The gold o-ring around the top, the detail on the automizer, the ridges in the base, in the silicone, in the cap covers, just it all ties together so nicely. And there's such little details. The more you look at it, you're like, yeah. I'm surprised the limited editions aren't more. Also a disclaimer, if you buy a limited edition or any Puffco Peak now, it comes stock with the 3D XL for the same price. This is so worth it. This is my baby. This is my best friend. Look at how she glows. This is so pretty. Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment, like, subscribe. If you'd like to see more of me, we can session hang out together because I upload videos every Thursday and Saturday. Check out my previous video where I shared a haul of where I picked this thing up and other goodies I got up and down Oregon and California. But stay tuned for the next video in a few days. I'll be uploading a review and the 411 on Delta 9. All right, I'll see you real soon. Peace. Also, I forgot to mention, you can, like, <coughs> add more time and add more degrees in the app, which is what I'm doing, so... <coughs> you're not come back on! And if you didn't hear it yet today, I appreciate you. Bye!